Hi, welcome to DTPP for Thursday, October 30th, 2014. I'm Anthony Solano, staff writer at the Daily Toreador, here at today's headlines. With more than 90 years of history, Texas Tech has its share of ghost stories. Laquita Perkis, the unit coordinator for lab prep in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, said she has personally seen ghosts on campus, mm -hmm. and others at Tech have likely encountered spirits too. When students look for costumes for Halloween, price, style, and originality are just a few factors that come into play. An, es an estimated 67.4% of Americans will buy Halloween costumes this year, according to the National Retail Federation. Texas Tech's new Polytech organization released a video on YouTube called Politically Challenged Texas Tech Edition to help students gain knowledge about government and current events in the United States. Royal Ceballos, the senior management information systems major from Dallas, said he hopes the video can raise political awareness and get people out to vote. The Texas Tech Activities Board hosted its annual tech retreat from 5 to 9 p.m. October 29th in the Student Union Building for, for the Lubbock community. On Wednesday, President M. Dwayne Nellis attended his usual meetings and completed work as normal. The only exception was the presence of a woman scheduled to shadow him all day. Taylor Love, a senior exercise and sports science major from Sugarland, won the Texas Tech Motor Board's raffle to be president for a day. At 6.30 p.m. on Saturday, Texas Tech will take on its biggest rival, Texas, in the first night game of the season at Jones AT&T Stadium. The Longhorns lead the all-time series against the Red Raiders 48-15, including winning the last five meetings dating back to 2009. For full stories, pick up a copy of the Daily Toreador or visit dailytoreador.com. For DT Briefly, I'm Anthony Slaughter.